Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna make one more granny triangle with crochet. So these are the yarns, these are special yarns for the crochet. So let's go ahead and start. So first we will make a knot like this. Slip knot. And then we'll make four chains. One. Two, three, and four. Now we'll take this pin and insert it here so that we should know where is the center point. And we'll take the first chain over here and we'll insert the hook and we'll make a slip stitch. Just pull the yarn from one ring and from another ring. That's it. So this will be the center point where we'll be working. Now we'll make three chains. One, two and three. So after making three chains, we'll make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook, pull the working yarn, you'll have three loops again yarn over pull from two loops and yarn over pull from two loops so that's our one double crochet we'll make one more yarn over now we can remove it as our, we know where is our center now here so yarn over Insert the hook, pull the working yarn, remove from two and then remove from two. So that's two double crochets. Now we'll make three chains. One, two and three. Now we'll make Two more double crochet in the same center. That's one double crochet. And that's two double crochet. We'll make one more. That's three double crochet. One, two, three. Now we'll make three chains again. One, two, and three. And now we'll make double crochets. One. That's one double crochet here. That's two. And this is three. So we have made three double crochets. And you can see the pattern here. Now We'll see here, we'll see where is the third chain, one, two, three, and we'll make a slip stitch here. Just insert the hook, pull the yarn from one and pull it from the another one. That's your slip stitch here. Now we'll just make one chain and cut the yarn now we'll join one more color we'll join over any of the corners so let's take this corner
just a basic knot now we'll insert the hook here in the space pull the yarn and we'll make three chains one two and three so this three chains will work as our double crochet so we will make two more double crochets that's one double crochet keep pushing the stitches and this is two double crochets now we'll make three chains one two and three now we'll make three more double crochets one that's two and three double crochet here you can see that's three double crochet now to hop into the side space we'll make one chain and three double crochets So that's one double crochet. That's two. And this is three double crochet. Now we'll make three chains for the corner space. One, two, and three. We are making the chain so that the corner should be evident. One double crochet. Two double crochet and three double crochet. Now we'll again hop into the corner space. So we'll make one chain and we'll make three double crochet. That's one double crochet. That's two. And that's three double crochet. Now we'll make three chains again. One, two, and three. Now we'll make three double crochets again in this corner space, same corner space. One, two, Now 
to join over here we'll make one chain and we will just do a slip stitch over the third chain over here and just one chain and you can cut it now we'll add a new color just a simple knot later we will weave in all these tails inside the stitches you can do it alongside or you can do it later as well so just insert the hook pull the yarn make three chains one two and three now we'll make two double crochets because one double crochet will be the three chains so one that's two double crochets now we'll make three chains one two and three now we'll make three double crochets that's one double crochet that's two and this is three double crochet now we have to hop into the this side space so we will just do one chain and we'll do three double crochet for the side space one that's one double crochet that's two double crochet and this is three double crochet now we'll hop into the next corner space so for that we need to make one chain and three double crochet that's one yarn over insert the hook pull the yarn come out of two loops yarn over come out of two loops that's two double crochets again yarn over insert the hook pull the yarn come out yarn over and pull the two loops again yarn over and pull the two loops so that's three double crochet now we'll make three chains one two and three now we'll make three more double crochets in the same corner space that's one that's two and this is three three double crochets now we'll hop into the side space so we will make one chain and three double crochets in the side space 
whenever you are going to the side space we will just make one chain and then three double crochets that's one this is two and this is three double crochets that's again we'll hop into this corner space so one chain and three double crochets that's two double crochet and that's three double crochet now we'll make three chains one two and three and now we'll make three more double crochets in the same side corner space one two and three so that's three double crochet now we'll hop into the side space again so we'll make one chain and three double crochet in the side space that's one that's two and this is three double crochet now we'll make one more chain and join it over here in the third chain with a slip stitch Now we'll join one more color with a basic knot. We'll insert the hook in the corner space, pull the yarn and we'll make three chains. One. two and three now we'll make this will act as a one double crochet so we'll make just two more double crochets that's one and two that's two double crochets and three chains one two and three chains now three more double crochets one two and that's three double crochets so now we see here are two side spaces so we'll have we'll do one chain and three double uh, three double crochets in the side space that's 
that's one that's two and this is three double crochets now we'll hop into the next side space so we'll make one chain and three double crochets that's two and this is third double crochet so three double crochets we made one chain over here to hop into the next corner space then three double crochets one two and three double crochets so now to make a corner we'll make three chains one two and three now we'll make three more double crochets one two and three double crochets done now we'll hop into the next corner space one and two so one chain three double crochet one chain and three double crochet one chain three double crochet that's two and one more double crochet so now to hop into the next space we'll again make one chain and three double crochets that's two double crochet and this is three double crochets two and three now we are moving on to the corner space so we'll make one chain and three double crochets two and three now three chains one two and three three chains and three double crochet one and three double crochets
now to move to the next side space one chain three double crochet that's one double crochet that's two double crochet and that's three double crochet now again one chain and three double crochet in the next side space one two three that's three double crochets now one chain and we'll join it at the third chain pull the yarn from both the loops and make a chain and cut now i have joined a new color with a knot now insert the hook here pull up the loop and three chains one Two and three. Now we will make two double crochets. That's one. And that's two. Now we'll make three chains one, two, and three. And now we'll make three more double crochet. that's one double crochet that's two and three double crochet now as you can see for this round we have three side spaces so but we'll follow the same pattern one chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet one chain and three double crochet so let's go ahead and start one chain and three double crochet in this first side space that's two double crochets that's three double crochets now one chain and three double crochets in the second side space
that's two double crochets and this is three double crochets again we'll make one chain and three double crochets over here third side space one and three that's three double crochets now we'll move on to the corner space so one chain and three double crochets at the corner space that's one second double crochet and third double crochet now to make a corner we'll make three chains one two and three that's one double crochet two double crochet and that's three double crochet one two and three now we'll make one chain and three double crochets in the side space that's one two and three now one chain and Three more double crochets in the second side space. One, that's two double crochets and three, three double crochets, one chain for the third side space one two and three so that's the last side space of this side now we'll go to the corner one chain and three double crochets at the corner space that's one that's two and Three double crochet now we'll make the corner so three chains one two and three and three double crochets in the same side space one two and three so 
so we'll make one chain and three double crochet to the side space in the side space one two and three again we'll make one chain three double crochets in the side space that's two double crochet now three double crochet so one third double crochet one chain and three more double crochets that's one that's three double crochets and we'll join over here now to join we'll choose a third chain insert the hook pull the yarn from both the loops tighten it so that's a slip knot and we'll make one chain and then we'll turn around the work now we'll make a border over here and we'll make it on the reverse side so for to make a border we'll make a triple crochet that's turn the yarn on the loop twice and insert the hook in the chain pull the yarn so you will have four loops over here so that's triple crochet so we'll yarn over and pull the loops three times so yarn over pull out from two loops yarn over pull out from two loops and yarn over pull out from two loops that's triple crochet now for the next two chains we'll do double cro uh, one single crochet and one single crochet so let's see so we have done over here for this chain now we'll do over here for the second chain just one single crochet insert the hook pull the yarn you will have two loops yarn over and pull out from both the loops for the next chain as well insert the hook in the chain pull the working yarn you will have two loops and pull the working yarn from both the loops so that's single crochet so triple crochet single crochet single crochet now we'll again make a triple crochet so yarn over twice insert the hook in the ch next chain pull the yarn you will have four loops so yarn over pull out from two loops yarn over pull out from two loops yarn over pull out from two loops so that's one triple crochet now now single crochet and one more single crochet in the next chain now we'll do triple crochet now single crochet in the next chain so 
so one triple crochet two single crochets one triple crochet and two single crochet so we'll continue like that now one single crochet now we'll make one more triple crochet So that's one triple crochet now we have reached so now we have followed this pattern of one triple crochet two single crochet one triple crochet and two single crochet now for the side we'll follow this pattern and for the corner we'll do three single crochet that's one we have to uh, insert the loop insert the hook exactly into the chain this is two that's two single crochet and three so this is three single crochet now we'll do three chains one two and three so after three chains we'll again do three single crochet that's one two and three so that's three single crochet so for the corners we will not do any triple crochet we'll only do three single crochet three chains and three single crochet now again we'll follow the same pattern uh, one triple crochet and two single crochet so we'll just follow the same pattern throughout here so that's again we are gonna do wind over twice yarn over twice insert the loop pull over the working yarn we have four loops so that's a we'll pull the yarn three times so that's a one triple crochet and now we'll do two single crochets that's one and two so we'll follow the same pattern throughout the border